It's an all-seeing eye in the sky. There is no hiding from this weapon. It's an unmanned aircraft or UAV that flies an amazing two miles higher than any commercial airliner. Its job is to supply data anywhere within enemy territory, day or night, regardless of the weather. Global Hawk is replacing the granddaddy of spy planes, the U-2. The U-2 is a manned, single-seat surveillance aircraft, and it's been in service since the 1950s. But Global Hawk is set to make the U-2 redundant. It's unmanned and operated from the ground. It can even be flown from the safety of a base back in the U.S. That means the days of risking a pilot's life in hostile territory are over. It's kind of a virtual experience in flying, similar to what you'd experienced in a simulator, only you have to continue to put yourself into the reality that this is a, an actual aircraft costing multi-millions of dollars and it's performing a vital mission. A more recent spy in the sky development is the Predator. This UAV spy plane that allegedly once tracked bin Laden, it's still a major player because it was modified to carry weapon systems. If you want to play a game of hide and seek with Global Hawk, hate to tell you this, but you've already lost. That's because Global Hawk has an unrivaled range of nearly 12,500 nautical miles. That means within a matter of hours, it can be anywhere on the planet. With Global Hawk, you can get above 60,000 feet and see 300 miles around you. Say there's a vehicle you're interested in, you can take a closer look. No, you cannot read the license plate number, but you can tell what direction the vehicle is heading, the make and model, how many passengers are on board, whether they're male and female, and even what radio station they're listening to. Global Hawk goes a long way to setting up an introduction. Global Hawk's ability to fly at high altitude is crucial where it's out of range from its enemies. The mighty Predator can fly at 30,000 feet, and that limitation was exposed in 2002 when Iraqi forces took one out. I want to be able to predict what's going to happen on a battle space. It's not good enough just to see what's happened, but to, to get to a position to see what may happen, to put all the clues together and forecast what the enemy's going to do. And the best way to do that is to be on station constantly collecting. And normally, that satellite dish is hidden under this giant bubble, right? Yeah, it's normally where you place a cockpit for the pilot. That's the dish that carries the information, the imagery, from Global Hawk back to the ground station where it's exploited. You can transmit that through satellites, pretty much any place on the planet. And there's enough space for that to move 360 all the way around? Yep, it constantly tracks the satellite, uh, constant feed of information, speed of light. That feed of information is power. If you can see everything your enemy is doing in real time, you can concentrate your efforts into attacking the right spots with precisely the right weapons. Weapons like